Hello and welcome to the new series about the ongoing Cricket World Cup. I am your host Danish Ben Nabi. In this two episode series we will discuss about rise and fall of teams, their performances and possibly who will win the World Cup. All this and more on straight strokes with Gaur Gilani. Gaur sahab welcome. Let me first begin by asking you about the first semi finals being played on June July 9th at Manchester. Do you think that New Zealand deserve a place in the semi finals given their uh, performance in last four matches? I think more than uh, you know uh, talking about whether they deserve they are there I mean that's the reality they are there and because they won their matches in the beginning and they did very well they were consistent in the earlier phases and they were lucky to get some you know games against lesser opponents uh, but as they moved on they lost some of the momentum and they lost to Pakistan also so that way there's a debate now on the net run rate but i think uh, they are there because they are there and that that's the reality but what about their chase against the uh, england they they have they, they have they, suffered they have suffered primarily uh, one uh, um, their opening partnership like uh, guptil munro and they tried nicholas uh, that didn't work and if you see the top 3 teams like india england and also uh, you know um they they uh, strength uh, the strength of india for example or australia or england is that their top 3 has been performing mm-hmm. you see the you see the combination of besto johnny besto mm-hmm. and jason roy mm-hmm. and when jason roy was injured and vince came who is an excellent player mm-hmm. but uh, when he came they they couldn't uh, you know form the partnerships they couldn't forge or stitch partnerships as uh, besto and roy would but but let, let let me complete and then you see finch and warner both have scored like close to 600 600 plus runs mm-hmm. Uh, for india rohit sharma uh, shikhar dhawan first and then uh, rahul yeah. kl rahul so all the teams whose openers have done well uh, top 3 they are there mm-hmm. so uh, new zealand a bit lucky because pakistan the momentum with uh, what what pakistan the momentum they had in the last four games mm-hmm. so many many people believe that they actually deserve to be uh, there uh, if we look at the performances of Guptil and Munro the opening pair of the New Zealand do you think they need to change it for the semi finals or should they go with the same because team? they are playing at manchester and it's a high scoring ground uh-huh. i think they should go with munro uh-huh. and guptil and, and drop but guptil or not no no guptil guptil uh-huh. has to play because he's a big match player he's like rohit sharma uh-huh. when he when he plays and but when he, he stays there but both of them have not performed in this world cup but they have no option you can't change both openers that's the problem uh-huh. and the williamson has been good for them and taylor is a very experienced uh, you know cricketer at number 4 uh-huh. and then they have good all rounders in uh-huh. jimmy nisham and colin de grand home uh-huh. so their lower order is fantastic but the problem is that you have to play the top 3 has to perform mm-hmm. uh, which has performed for australia england mm-hmm. uh, and uh, uh, india again then a lot as has been said about the head to head wins net run rate what do you think is the best option for a team to go ahead i mean it's a debate i mean uh, south africa were lucky you know unlucky uh, they they suffered on the basis of duckworth lewis system at mm-hmm. one point in time it was a 92 world cup 90 you know Uh, Pakistan were uh, slightly lucky in 92 when the rain uh, their, their game against England was washed out mm-hmm. and then they they got a momentum at the right moment uh, so this is a debate even Michael Holding and p- other players Michael Vaughan and other people have been talking about that this net run rate uh, should not be there because if you are uh, you know equal on points mm-hmm. then the best thing is to see uh, when the, in the league games who has you know played well against home and who has won or lost what about the bonus points if that comes in to play i mean that that's for the icc to take a call whether bonus point uh, is a way forward mm-hmm. uh, or uh, you have uh, <clears throat> you know for example you should uh, continue with this nr nrr mm-hmm. or duckworth lewis system so these are the things which uh, which i think the icc would take a call on uh, now if we look at india they have uh, seem to be a fair uh, combination going on right now do you think there's a place of jadeja ramendra jadeja instead of jadav uh, kedar jadav they have dropped now i think uh-huh. uh, pant uh-huh. at 4 uh-huh. and pandya at 5 and dhoni uh-huh. at 6 what about kuldeep nayar uh, Kul- kuldeep, kuldeep, kuldeep is there kuldeep is there uh, kuldeep and chahal yeah. they are they are trying to you know play either of the two uh, uh-huh. because chahal went for runs uh, in uh-huh. one match and kuldeep also uh-huh. went for But many jadeja many runs jadeja is also a good option he he feels well bowls well 
Yeah, but I mean, yeah, there's a lot of debate about these uh, three-dimensional players, three-day, three-D play, players, uh, mm -hmm. for on which uh, um, you know Ambati Raidu also made a tweet mm -hmm. that now he would watch the World Cup uh, wearing 3D, 3D glasses. glasses. There's a lot of debate on mm -hmm. uh, Vijay Shankar. I personally felt uh, that uh, number four is a very important position, and you need a proper batsman at that place, mm -hmm. uh, like Raidu was, mm -hmm. or even you know uh, Dinesh Karthik is a fantastic batsman. Pant is a fantastic player. Mm -hmm. uh, so. In I, I think India is the most balanced side, mm -hmm. but uh, England is batting heavy. Mm -hmm. But England have a problem in little bit problem in bowling. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's advantage India at this stage because they are playing against oh, New Zealand. And who do you pick? Pick between India and New Zealand. I I would pick in India. India. Uh, but if Ferguson is fit, mm -hmm. uh, Ferguson is fit, and if New Zealand get to uh, bat first. Mm -hmm. And score something around 330-340, mm -hmm. then anything can happen. happen. Then okay. anything can happen because the Bumrah factor would not be much he, effective. You know, if, in that if you have runs on the board in a pressure game, mm -hmm. semi-final, final, nothing, nothing matters. You mm -hmm. have to put runs on the board. Mm -hmm. And I, I will tell you one more thing, one mm -hmm. which is very important is. Uh, that you see the all the three teams. Mm -hmm. I would not count New Zealand among the top four, mm -hmm. um, or all the five te five teams. Mm -hmm. Why have they have done well, including Pakistan, mm -hmm. is primarily because uh, those who have left arm seamers, mm -hmm. fast bowlers like Stark for Australia, mm -hmm. uh, Barrendorf for Australia, mm -hmm. Pakistan Shaheen Afridi and Amir Mohammad Amir, and even Bolt for New Zealand, mm -hmm. and then you uh, talk about uh, <coughs> England, uh, mm -hmm. and then. All out fast bowlers like mm -hmm. Woods, mm -hmm. uh, you have um, jo Jofra Archer. Mm -hmm. So, all those bowlers who bowl 145 plus mm -hmm. or, or left handers, mm -hmm. quality left handers, they have done well. Mm -hmm. Any team which has a quality wrist uh, spinner like mm -hmm. Kuldeep, Chahal, mm -hmm. or you have Rashid or mm -hmm. Pakistan had Shadab. Mm -hmm. So, these teams have done well. Mm -hmm. And those who have fantastic all rounders mm -hmm. like Stokes for England mm -hmm. and Panth and Pandya for, for India. India. Mm -hmm. So, I would rate India and England better than even Australia and New Zealand at the moment. So, I think. Um, given the fact that now Australia is playing against England, England. where England have not lost one match in the last 10, mm -hmm. uh, and India are playing against a weaker New Zealand, but mm -hmm. in semi final, you can never, never rule out anybody, anybody. and depends who wins the toss. And if New Zealand have runs on the board 330 plus, mm -hmm. then they can trouble India. Uh, many have termed the second semi finals between Australia and England to the Ashes series. To the Ashes, do you think it would have an impact this semi-final between the two on the upcoming Ashes? Australia is in trouble right now, uh -huh. uh, primarily because Usman Khawaja uh, has is, has got injured. Uh -huh. uh, he's a hamstring trouble again. Uh -huh. uh, Sean Marsh is injured, uh -huh. so they had to recall uh, Mitchell Marsh uh -huh. and Hanscom, uh -huh. and also you know another uh -huh. Stoinis is also injured. injured yeah. So now to play a semi-final with three players in the injured list, uh -huh. and you don't know what will happen to them. Uh -huh. And Khawaja I think is out, and Sean Marsh is out, uh -huh. but. Still we, we don't know, but I think uh, it is uh, advantage England mm -hmm. and England have a fantastic batting line. So India, England has to bat first? You know, we, we don't know, we can't uh, decide, it depends on who wins the toss, but uh -huh. this has been the pattern in the uh -huh. tournament that whoever wins the toss and puts run the, runs on the board, uh -huh. uh, if you are not Sri Lanka, then uh -huh. you can win. Oh, Usman Khaja came with a bank on the international scene, but then he again did not perform well in this World Cup. I think they, they, they messed up, they messed up by getting him at number three. Uh -huh. Because number three, if you see, who plays at number three for India? Virat Kohli. Virat Kohli. Who plays number three for Pakistan? Babar Azam. Who plays number three for uh, England? Joe Root. Uh -huh. So this uh, number three position is very, very important. Uh -huh. And they dropped their main batsman, uh, uh -huh. Steve, Summit, Steve, Steve Smith, Smith to number four. number four. And that is a mistake, mistake yeah, they committed. They, because your best player should get the maximum number of overs. Uh -huh. And now they have, a, they have this opportunity to fix it. Uh -huh. Because now Khwaja is out, Smith uh -huh. will bat at number three. Now, now, do you think they also like a genuine Sipner in this tournament. I think no, Lion, Lion, don't uh, rule oh, out no, Lion. Uh, no, yeah, Lion, Gary, I tell you a little bit about his background. Mm -hmm. Gary was not a professional cricketer. Mm -hmm. he, he, uh, he's known as Gary, it's his nickname, mm -hmm. and he was a, you know, kind of a net bowler. He was mm -hmm. groundsman. Mm -hmm. So then they picked him while he was bowling at players, and mm -hmm. they saw that he's, you know, spinning the ball, and the seam is landing at the right mm -hmm. position. There are, there are revs on the ball. Mm -hmm. So then there's no looking back. His test record, his one-day record, and he's bowling good. Very so well. the funda for all the teams is simple. Win the toss, go and bat. Win the toss, bat first, give your best batsman opportunity to score runs, pile up runs, and then pressure game, runs on the board, always. India, you see with 
the same 11, the winning combo they have this time. I think uh, they might want to, uh, you know, because Bhuvneshwar Kumar, uh, you know, conceded plenty of runs in the last game, 70 plus. And Shami has been their wicket taker, mm -hmm. and Bumrah has been, you know, always good. Mm -hmm. uh, now they, there's a kind of a tussle between Pandya is bowling six bowling. seven overs. Yeah, yeah. So now the problem is whether you play two wrist spinners against New That's Zealand because where New again Z the Zadeja factor comes. In. But, but no, but if you play against New Zealand, uh -huh. who have suffered traditionally against the you know uh -huh. wrist spinners, uh -huh. I think um, if I were the Indian selector, I would play both Chahal and Kuldeep. Okay, and what about the second semi-final? How do you pick? I would pick, uh, on current form, I would pick uh, England. England, yes, because oh. they have now the momentum. Thank you, Gavar Thank, Thank you, you for much. talking.